Fox 17 News at 6 starts right now. And all new at 6, Fox 17 has learned that inmates at the Kent County Correctional Facility were pepper sprayed after an incident Saturday night. That situation is worrying for those with loved ones behind bars. Fox 17's Doug Reardon joining us live from outside the jail to begin this hour with more on what he's learned about what happened there this weekend. Doug? Yeah, Janice Max, we're told that all of this started on Saturday evening when one of the corrections officers smelled smoke coming from one of the blocks and it ended after a couple of inmates wouldn't go back to their cells with those inmates being pepper sprayed. Very concerning news for those with loved ones on the inside. And after speaking to some of them today, we learned that really the concerns stem from health and safety issues. I'm concerned for people that are in there. 4.55 p.m. this past Saturday night, Ashley Lee gets a text message from her fiance's jail-issued iPad. He tells her inmates in his pod have been pepper sprayed and shot with non-lethal pepper balls. The last message I got from him was it was hard for him to breathe and that he was waiting for medical. And I haven't talked to him since. Even as of Monday, Ashley still hasn't heard from her fiance. As to what started the incident, the jail told Fox 17 it began when corrections officers smelled smoke, believing it to be contraband. In order to find out its source, inmates were advised to move to their respective cells, the jail told us in a statement today. Several inmates did follow the direction, yet some remained non-compliant and remained in the day-use area. On-duty staff were summoned to assist in securing the housing unit and the cells. The inmates were moved back into their cells by staff for the safety of everyone involved. In response to the use of force, the jail says they used pepper spray and non-lethal pepper balls, adding, these tools provide an alternative to attempting to physically move several inmates at a time by physical force. Course. With the latter, there is more risk of injury to the inmate and staff, unquote. It left Ashley alarmed all the same. My cousin, he said that he's in a totally different pod, and he said that he couldn't breathe, that it was coming through the vents. People could be seriously injured or hurt, you know, can't breathe for real, and they're just sitting in a cell with nobody. Ashley adds the frustration among inmates runs deeper than that. In another text, her fiancé says recent calls to jail staff for more cleaning supplies have gone unheeded. But he said that they haven't had cleaning supplies in weeks, that they just won't give it to them. And I just don't feel like they should be having to live like that. Video calls were down on the jail's website Monday, so Fox 17 couldn't reach any inmates directly. Ashley, still left with a lot of questions, would be happy at this point just hearing from her loved one. I don't know, like, you know, did he get sick from this? Is he okay? And Max Janice, the jail in that same statement today told us that any health and safety issues that inmates have, they can be taken to the full-time maintenance or medical staff. The other thing we learned today, the jail denying the existence that black mold was found inside of the facility. That was something else that we had been getting tips about. So we asked, they said nothing has been found. Live in Kent County, Doug Reardon, Fox 17 News.